אני נמצאת בבול הייטס, שזה בדאונטון לוס אנג'לס, מאחורי הבית כנסת העתיק ביותר בלוס אנג'לס. היום נערך כאן טקס בנוכחות סגן שר החוץ וראש העיר אנטוניו ויה רגוסה. I'd like to, uh, to uh, welcome to the podium and actually introduce, uh, many of you uh, may not have yet had the opportunity to meet our new Consul General, David Siegel. David Siegel is the Consul General representing the Western United States, including my most particularly favorite post, Hawaii. So that must be, you know, you must, your colleagues must be jealous of you, but just for a few words, uh, Consul General David Siegel. Thank you, Steve. You know, we say being Consul General in Los Angeles is a hardship post, but someone has to do it. Uh, although I haven't seen Hawaii yet. Uh, it, is, it is really wonderful to be here together in this symbol of togetherness, uh, of communities. And in, in many ways, as our Deputy Foreign Minister and my good friend, uh, Danny Ayalon, uh, just mentioned, Israel is, 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 like a, is like a Boyle Heights in itself. It's a, it's a country of immigrants from around the world, And I, I was just struck by uh, uh, the sense of the building and the same experience that I had in Tel Aviv when we went to see the Herzl Rogozin School, which is also in a neighborhood that is struggling, uh, in a community or a school that was uh, not in good repair. And a group of dedicated individuals took a failing school, turned it around, uh, brought kids from 48 different countries to learn Hebrew. Uh, from Africa, from uh, the four corners of the earth, and it's now an amazing community center. And you see the, the Israeli scouts uh, volunteering in a, in a library uh, dedicated by Israeli high-tech entrepreneurs and kids from Darfur or from uh, Ethiopia or Eritrea or South Africa, uh, all working together as a community. Uh, and in many, many ways, it, it symbolizes what needs to be done here. and what is being done here, and it is the connection between Americans and Israelis and members of, of all these communities. And uh, again, Mayor, I think this was one of the moving, most moving speeches I've heard from you, and it was without a text, and it, it, it was deeply moving. And uh, 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 it is wonderful to have friends and allies working together on, on strengthening the bonds between our communities. Uh, you know, our, our past is shared, as you've heard, Uh, from our golden age in Spain, through the Inquisition, through uh, World War II, I think about Latino uh, diplomats who helped save Jews in World War II uh, during the Holocaust. And this, this relationship is historic. It's a relationship about today, and it's a relationship about the future. And we've discussed this, Mr. Consul General, uh, our friendship uh, between our peoples and the challenges that we face in all areas of life, but we face them together. Um, whether it's the environment or education or after-school activities that we struggle with in Israel, communities struggle with here, and we're really learning from each other about uh, the best practices. I just want to end again on a local level, not an international level, but to thank Gil Arcieli uh, and Silvio and uh, other members of our consulate here uh, for the work that they do every day, uh, all of us together, in strengthening the ties between our communities Uh, Gil will be taking a group of uh, 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 Latino legislators to Israel again next week. Um, and we keep hearing about how powerful this experience is uh, in, in bringing us all together. Uh, so again, thank you very much for your work, Steve and the whole committee. Uh, and hopefully during my time in this town, we'll, we'll get this going in an expedited way. So thank you very much. Thank you.